Hey everyone, COE33 here. Welcome to the Upstairs Game Room, the Retro Room. And today we're going to take a look at the updated 2023 NES collection. As of today, as of filming this video, there's 205 NES games in the collection. And we're going to go through and we're going to take a look at them. We're going to talk about them. And we're just going to do a nice deep dive on the Nintendo shelf over here. So this should be a good time. And of course I got the game room fired up for you. Let's see, what do we got going on over here? A little Simpsons pinball on the virtual pinball machine. And uh, I've been doing some work up here. I actually did a lot of work over here on the Sega shelf to make room for all those games that I got in the last We Got Mail. So that shelf is starting to look pretty packed. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're gonna to talk about NES. So let's go over here and let's take a look at this NES shelf. Okay, so you can see I got the posters up here, Ninja Gaiden 2, Double Dragon 2, and I have a little 3D printed Nintendo sign that you can see right here that I picked up on eBay, or was it maybe Etsy? I can't remember if I got that on eBay or Etsy. And this is where all the retro Nintendo carts live. So NES, um, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, and Game Boy all live on this shelf. And the Nintendo, the original NES is one of my favorite systems to collect for. Um, it was my first console that I ever got back in probably 86. And uh, so I have a lot of nostalgia and love for Nintendo, so that's why I've accumulated so many games for it. I think um, probably right behind the Sega Genesis, it's one of my top, at least top three consoles to collect for. And you can see I have them all alphabetically organized here. I've got these little tabs that I made. I just basically put these together in Photoshop and printed them out on glossy paper. Real easy to do, and it keeps everything nice and organized. And I've got my little power-up light switch here, which is kind of fun. I make sound effects and stuff. Okay, so why don't we just go through and let's uh, take a look at these games, shall we? And I'm not going to talk about every game, but if something, you know, I come across that's kind of noteworthy that I want to talk about, I will. So we're going to go through, and I'm just going to list off games. And uh, yeah, 10-yard fight there, 1942. Now, I do like playing shmups on the NES, and uh, although I don't really care for 1942, but what I do care for is 1943, um, a huge improvement over 1942, and a very fun shmup, and it's still pretty affordable too, so if you guys like a little 8-bit shooter action, I definitely recommend 1943. And speaking of recommendations, two of my favorites right here, Adventure Island, which is a, a great platformer and one that I played back in the day, so I had nostalgia for it, but it's still a game that I find myself going to um, quite often. And then Adventure Island 2, which really takes all the stuff I love about Adventure Island and just kind of ramps it up a little bit. And uh, some of my favorite games on the NES. Then we have that Disney um, Magic Kingdom game, uh, Dino Ricky, Airwolf. I used to love Airwolf on the TV show. <laughs> At least not so much of the game, but the TV show was one of my favorites back in the day. Anticipation, Arch Rivals, uh, Astyanox, Back to the Future and Back to the Future 2. Or actually, is this two or three? I always forget. That's three. Back to the Future and Back to the Future 3. And then um, Bad Dudes. So Bad Dudes isn't like top tier NES beat em up for me. But it is fun. I do like playing Bad Dudes. But it just it doesn't quite hold a candle to some of the other games that we'll see here in a little bit. Bandai Golf. I do like a little 8-bit golf action. Uh, Barbie Kart, and actually I think this is the one that I have signed. Yep, that's uh, Pat Contry, the NES punk there. I saw him at an expo and I asked him to sign out of all carts. I don't know why, but the Barbie Kart. And then Bases Loaded 2, awesome. A little Beetlejuice action. Bigfoot, a little NASCAR racing. Blades of Steel, super fun. Caesar's Palace, California Games. And then we got Casino Kid. Now, the Castlevania Games... I mean, I don't have to tell you guys how good the Castlevania games are on the NES. And, uh, yeah, I love playing these. These are fun. Now, I was going to play these this month, but I didn't get around to it. A lot of these games I streamed on Twitch and had a good time. And uh, these were on the list of games that I wanted to play again, but I just didn't get around to it. I did play Championship Bowling, though. That was fun. And then, I always forget, which one is this? Oh, yeah, City Connection. It's weird because it says, you know, the, the publisher, the developer there on the end label instead of the name of the game like everything else. Cobra Triangle, of course Contra, one of the all-time great games. This is a game that I played with my buddy back in the day. Um, he had 
just a handful of NES games, and Contra is one of them. And I remember going over to his house, and he would bust out his little, like, he had one of those really small, uh, maybe like a, I don't know, 15-inch little TV up in his bedroom, and we'd play Contra, so super fun. And then uh, we got, uh, oh gosh, what is this one? Oh, what is that? Cybernoid, that's right. Gosh, I don't think I've played Cybernoid. I might have to give that a go. Is that any good, Cybernoid? Dance Aerobics, Darkman. Now, Darkman is one of the games that I picked up somewhat recently, and I actually played that this month, and um, I don't know. I kind of liked it. It's um, Maybe I'm a glutton for punishment because it was brutally hard, but I was able to make it pretty far in the game, and like I wouldn't say it's a good game. It's, it's kind of janky in the way it controls, but the graphics were pretty good, and I liked the Darkman movie, so I just kind of enjoyed it. It was a good time. Um, maybe it's so bad it's good. That's probably what's going on there. Deadly Towers, Defender 2, uh, we got a little, um, oh gosh, Destination, uh, Death Star, is that right? It's hard to see because they're so small. Yeah, I think, oh, Earth Star, something like that, yeah. Double Dribble, Dr. Chaos, Dragon Warrior, Duck Hunt, of course, the classic. Gotta love Duck Hunt. A little DuckTales, great game. Excite Bike, one of my faves. We got Fester's Quest, we got the original Final Fantasy there, and Intruder. Moving over here to the G's, we got a little George Foreman KO Boxing. Now, George Foreman was one of my favorite. It was him and Mike Tyson growing up were my two favorite um, boxers. I really liked Evander Holyfield, too, so I'll put him in that list. But George Foreman was uh, a lot of fun to watch back in the day. And then Ghostbusters 2, Ghosts and Goblins. Oh, man, that's a hard game. I was just playing Ghouls and Ghosts. I was like, oh, this is great. I need to go back and try to get through Ghosts and Goblins. This is notoriously difficult. And then we got Goal and Golf and Gotcha and Gyrus and Home Alone 2 and Hydlide and Ice Hockey and Infiltrator. And we got a little Jack Nicholas Golf and Jackal, one of my faves. That's a great Konami game. And then Jaws, John Elway Quarterback, Jordan vs. Bird, Karate Champ, Kid Icarus. I think I picked that up at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. And then Kings of the Beach, Kirby's Adventure, what a great classic. Kung Fu, this is one of the games I had as a kid. One of the few games I actually had back when the NES was on store shelves. So I've played a lot of Kung Fu over the years. And then we got Legacy of the Wizard and Lunar Pool. Okay, let's move over down here. And then I've got some games. Let's zoom up a little bit so you can see these. Okay, there we go. And um, I've, I basically did this so I'll have more room to expand as needed. So these are just kind of filler at the moment, but some great stuff. Metroid, Mega Man 3, Ninja Gaiden 2, and Ninja Gaiden, some of my favorites. Moving over here to the little middle display, I've got some of my complete and box games. So I don't have a lot of complete and box games, but I have a few. I've got the Callets Gamers for Kids um, Expo stuff that I picked up from John Hancock. So both that Tortoises and the one next to it, those are both from John. And uh, he was nice enough to sign those for me and... Uh, very cool little homebrews, lots of fun. And then I've got this, I think I got this in a loot crate, this little Hogan's Alley, let's see if we can get there, there we go, Corbin's Alley, they call it. Um, and it's like a little figure, a little NES cartridge with a zapper. And yeah, it's just cool, I like it, it looks good on the NES shelf. Okay, this is a pickup that I got this month, Robocop 3. This is probably, this, yeah, this is the most expensive game that I bought this month for NES month. Now, actually, you're going to see this. It's probably going to be February 1st when this video goes live. So NES month is officially over. And Leaf and I will announce what the theme for February will be in the next video. So this will be the last video for NES month. A toast to the toaster is over. But for NES month, Robocop 3 was the big pickup. Uh, oh, actually, I take that back. There's another good one that you're going to see here in a second. Okay, we got Lee Trevino's Fighting Golf, Marble Madness, Akari Warriors. We got the little um, codename Viper. I picked that up this month. And then this is probably my the big pickup this month. A little Kabuki Quantum Fighter complete in box and in really good shape. So what a great game, too. I had the chance of playing that this month, and I absolutely loved it. It was hard, of course. It's not just hard. It's NES hard. But a lot of these games were back then, and I did enjoy it quite a bit, and I, I made it pretty far in the game, so feel pretty good about that. I'll have to revisit it and see if I can beat the game eventually. A little Castlevania and Friday the 13th. Those are our complete in-box games. Okay, we're going to move over here to this little section. we got Dr. Mario, Super Mario 3, Super Mario 2, 
And of course, the OG, the game that started all for me, the first video game that I ever purchased, Mario Brothers, and one of my favorites. Although, technically, it was the Mario Brothers Duck Hunt cart that I had, but that's okay. Okay, moving over here, we got oh, one of my faves, River City Ransom, what a great game. Road Blasters, Robocop, Robocop 2, so now I have um, all three Robocops on the NES, that's kind of fun. And then we got um, Road Warrior and Rocket Racers and Roger Clemens MVP Baseball. And we got Rollerball and Rygar, which is a really fun game. I like Rygar quite a bit. Section Z, Sesame Street 1, 2, 3, Sesame Street ABC, Side Pocket, Silent Service, Skater Die, Strider, Snake Rattle and Roll, Solar Jetman, Solstice Spot, Spy Hunter Star Voyage. And Stealth and Sky Shark, which actually that was another game that I played this month. And uh, I was kind of on a kick of 8 bit shooters. And uh, so I went through my shelf here and picked out all the shooters and uh, streamed them all and uh, had a really good time. Sky Shark was another brutal game, it was very difficult, but I enjoyed it, it was fun. And then Super C. Okay, let's move down one row here, start from the left and work our way right. We've got Top Player Tennis Tiger Heli, another shmup that I played this month. TNC Surf Design, we got the track and field games, Trojan, we got a little Ultima, a little Vegas Dream, we got a little Videomation, Wall Street Kid, Roger Rabbit, Willow, When There's a Draw, Winter Game, we got a little a Wizardry, Wizards and Warriors, World Class Track Meet, we got King of the Ring, WrestleMania, another WWF game next to that, Xenophobe, Xevious, and Yonoid. And then of course down here, we got some of my favorites. We got some beat em up action. So we got the Battle Toads, of course, you gotta have Battle Toads, right? And then Double Dragon, Double Dragon 2, and Double Dragon 3. And Leaf and I actually played Double Dragon. Uh, we did a little Let's Play on uh, YouTube um, earlier in uh, January. That was one of the, the first Toast to the Toaster videos that we did. And uh, yeah, that was fun. A little Double Dragon action. And then moving over here, we got some of this. Actually, all these are from this month, so I haven't actually catalog these alphabetically yet. Um, now we, I do have two Tengen games here that are not new pickups. They were just on the shelf already. Uh, Rolling Thunder and then Miss Pac-Man. Oh no, just Pac-Man, regular Pac-Man. But the rest of these games are new pickups from this month. So uh, a lot of these are going to be shmups and then a few of them are uh, like beat-em-ups and action platformers. So um, Dragon Spirit, the new legend, a really fun shmup that I watched gameplay of um, before this month started, and I was like, yeah, I want to pick that up, so I did, and I was able to play that. Actually, I played, I think, all these this month. Yep, Legendary Wings, another great shmup. Uh, Batman, of course. I was surprised I didn't have Batman in the collection already, so I'm glad to have that in the collection now. And then Silkworm, and then Abadox. Now, Abadox is probably one of my favorite pickups um, this month. I, I, I don't know, it's like a little gem of a game I don't, it's it's tough it's brutal but i really liked it now i know it's not for everybody but i thought abadox was cool Gunsmoke, that was a lot of fun um this is probably the number one this and kabuki quantum fighter are the games that I, you guys kept recommending uh the guardian legend so pick that up and uh yeah what a great shmup top you know tier quality shmup on the nes and then a little turtles manhattan project a little Mad Max. Now, I, this I think this cart has an issue. Um, I don't know what was going on. I tried to play this, and it was like stuck on the title page. So I'm gonna have to look into that. Um, it was kind of a weird little issue going on. The sound was all messed up too. Gorilla War. I really like SNK games on the NES, and um, both POW Prisoner of War and Gorilla War. Um, I played both of those this month again. I'd played them before, but um, I just they're. Some of my favorites on the NES. SNK was always crushing it back in the day. And then a really nice pickup this month. Finally, a little Mega Man 2 in the collection. I don't know why it took so long to get Mega Man 2 in the collection. Moving down here, we got the Donkey Kong games. Of course, Donkey Kong 3, Donkey Kong Jr., and then Donkey Kong Classics that has um, the original Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. on one cart. And then we got a little Blaster Master right there. Moving up, starting from the left, working our way right, we got Super Glove Ball, Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. Now there's the cart that started all. Um, that definitely is probably the most nostalgic video game in my collection. And also one of the cheapest, I think. <laughs> Those are like so ubiquitous that the price has always been dirt cheap because, uh, yeah, they made a lot of those. 
it was the pack-in game for the NES back in the day, so there's, um, I don't know how many of them out there, but an awful lot. We got a little volleyball, a little super spike action. We got the super team games, we got Taboo, Tag Team Wrestling, Tecmo Ball, Tecmo Super Ball. Um, we got the Turtles games, Tetris, Tetris 2, uh, Bayou Billy, Chess Master, Goonies, Karate Kid, a little uh, Simpsons action there, X-Men, Total Recall, I played that this month as well, and um, yeah, that also may fall into the category of it's so bad, it's good, because <laughs> it is really bad, but I, it was another game, I was like, yeah, this is fun, <laughs> I was having a good time with it, um, even though it was terrible. Um, to the Earth, Tom and Jerry, Top Gun, and Top Gun 2. And then uh, moving up here, I don't think we've gone up here yet. This is probably the last row. We got Magic Johnson's Fast Break, Mappy Land, the original Metal Gear, World GP. We got the Milan Secret Castle, Mission Impossible, NARC, Football, uh, some more football, Operation Wolf, Orb, 3D Othello. There's that other SNK game I was talking about, POW, Prisoner of War. And that's another uh, top tier game. I really like it. Pictionary, Pipe Dream, Pro Wrestling, of course, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, RBI Baseball, RC Pro Ram, Racket Attack, Rad Racer, Rad Racer 2, Rambo, Renegade, and the Ring King. And then last but not least, I have this little shelf here. And I've got that repro retro championship cart that I picked up from Gamester81 at uh, an expo. And then um, over here, of course, the gold cart. Gotta have the gold cart. Legend of Zelda. Um, talk about classics. And guys, that is my NES collection as of today, February 1st, 2023. At least that's when you're seeing this video. And um, I'm looking forward to just continuing plucking away at this collection. I don't know if I'm going for a set or not. I, I honestly don't know. I, I just When I see an NES game, if I don't have it, I buy it. Because look how nice these look on the shelf. Now, I do have a fair amount of room for more because I can put more games in there, more games in there, more games in there, and more games in there. So for the time being, I'm just grabbing them as I see them because NES, they are a lot of fun to collect for and uh, play. But you guys know that. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm posting new videos every Wednesday at 7 p.m. You can count on that. And then there's a community Discord, the Dragon's Lair, where you can hang out when I'm not posting videos on YouTube. And then I'm live streaming on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday. I'd love to see you over there for all retro games on original hardware and even a CRT television. And that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, bye.